Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to actually make uh, your own video tutorial and to do that we're going to use a combination of QuickTime Player and uh, either YouTube Editor or uh, iMovie. So this first video we're going to use YouTube Editor. I'll make another video uh, and show you how to use iMovie to make the video. But first one, YouTube Editor. YouTube editor. Uh, but first, we need to make our video clips. So to do that, we're going to use QuickTime Player. This is what it looks like. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and search for it. Here's QuickTime Player. Open it up. Up here, you can see, uh, go to File, and you want New Movie Recording. And now you can see, here I am. Uh, it's using the i, the i, I don't know, FaceTime camera or whatever it's called. EyeSight camera, I guess. Uh, to film and so this is how you're gonna make your your clips so when you're ready right use something like a, a little whiteboard or if you have a piece of paper or whatever uh, kind of stand to the side go ahead and film and you know you're gonna say okay this is how you divide decimals and show your work and explain what you're doing talk to the camera make sure you're nice and loud so for example I'll say okay Right now I'm going to talk about how to divide decimals. So blah, blah, blah. That's how you do it. I'm going to stop. Okay. And now you can see here is my little clip. Right? It's eight seconds long. Okay. Right now I'm going to talk about how to divide decimals. So blah, blah, blah. That's how you do it. Okay. So there's my clip. Uh, obviously this is just an example now uh, I'm gonna save if I like that clip I'll save it if you do it and you're messing up a bunch feel free to just delete it and do it again um, so I'm gonna save my clip save it in a place where you'll be able to find it easily uh, you know maybe you'll make a new folder so this is uh, video tutor tutorial tutorial clip that's my new folder and then what I always like to do I'll just number them so this is maybe click clip uh, number one or I'll just say clip number one and then just do them in order so when you're editing it's gonna be a lot easier um, so I'll save that save clip number one again do as many clips as you need uh, and then that's that let me close this real quick actually uh, now I'm going to go to YouTube uh, log into your YouTube channel make sure you're logged in I'm here on uh, my channel anywhere math and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload those clips uh, smaller clips like that eight seconds is gonna be pretty quick uh, longer ones will take a little bit longer but I'm gonna upload and I'm gonna make them unlisted and I'm going to say unlisted because I don't want anybody, you know, just being able to see it. Uh, unlisted means the only people that can see it are the ones that have the link. So that restricts it quite a bit. So I'm going to make it unlisted. And let's see if I can find that clip. It was in documents, video tutorial clips. There it is. And I'm just going to drag it in there. Okay. Do that with all the clips that you have. For a short video tutorial, you shouldn't really have much more than maybe three or four clips. Uh, and then it'll be processing, right? And when it's done, I'll show you exactly what to do then. Now my clip has been uploaded. The processing is done. Uh, I've got some tags here. I'm not really sure why, but I guess I could get rid of them if I want. Uh, don't worry about tagging anything because it's an unlisted video so it doesn't really matter um, but here's my uh, clip here's some thumbnails you can select one that you want but again that doesn't really matter so I'm just gonna click done just make sure it's unlisted uh, and now my clip is ready to use so now I'm gonna go back to uh, video manager or I guess I could have gone back to uh, editing but anyways here is my clip this means it's unlisted. Ones with the globe means it's public. Those are my other videos. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use video uh, 
editor to edit my video uh, and make my actual tutorial. So I'm going to create, click on video editor. And what I need to do is, this is pretty simple. If you use iMovie before, it, it looks somewhat similar, uh, but it's a lot simpler than iMovie and hopefully less confusing. So here's all my clips. This is the one I just uploaded. You should have all of your clips that you made from, from QuickTime Player uploaded, and you should be able to see them right here. So I'm going to use this clip, drag it in there, now, there's a couple things that you can do. Okay. Right now, I'm going to talk about how to divide decimals. So, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's how you do it. So, again, there's my clip. Uh, if it looks too, too dark or too bright or whatever, you can change that here. You can do a kind of an, <coughs> excuse me, an auto fix. Okay. Sharpens right it up a little bit. Uh, you can shorten it here. Right. If you want to, if you want to uh, okay. trim it. Right now, I'm going to talk about how to divide decimals. So blah blah. Okay. If I want to cut that off, I'll go back to what it was. Um, you can right slow motion rotate. You're probably not going to use a lot of those. The things that you probably are going to use though is text. Um, so if you want to add text. We can do that. And so, for example, if I want to put a title, let's see. If I want to put a title in here, <coughs> whoops, excuse me. Um, okay. I won't have clicked on my clip. When you click on the clip, then it gets more specific. But I'm going to click here and I'm going to go up here to the A, which is where it says text. And I'm going to add a, a little title. Okay, you can see it right there. I'm going to enter, let's say this was about dividing decimals. Okay. I don't know how to make, make that not automatically play. That's kind of annoying. Uh, dividing decimals, you can see it there. It's not very clear because it's white, so maybe I'll change the color and make it red. That's a little okay. bit easier. Maybe I also want to have my name by Mr. Jacobson. So now you can see that there. That's not too bad. Change the font. Maybe snazz it up a little bit. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, so if I'm maybe I'm happy with that, that's great. Uh, I'll throw in whatever, drag in whatever other clips I have. Remember, if you want to get back to this main okay. menu, just click, just click off of it. <coughs> drag whatever other clips I want. Uh, you can put in little transitions. Just same thing. You're just dragging them in, and then you can see. Okay, I've got my title. Okay. Right now, I'm going to talk about how to divide decimals. So, blah, blah, blah. And then it would have the transition to my next clip, which is not there. Uh, if you don't like it, yeah, you can just get rid of it, exit. Um, but once you're happy with that, you should have, obviously, you should have the title of your video, by, with your name, the clips with your explanation, your uh, example problem, the word problem, and all the work. <coughs> and it should be two to five minutes. Okay. Once you're done with that, then you're ready to publish. You can kick, click publish up there. Um, and you probably, sorry, probably going to want to change the name. So I'll just say dividing decimals uh, sample. Save that. Uh, and it, it'll tell you how it's doing. So your video edits edits are about 75% done so it's going pretty quick because it's such a short video <coughs> yours will probably take longer again it's unlisted which is great okay that's what you want is you're gonna share it so you're gonna click here 
And remember, the only people that can see the video are the ones that have this link. So I'm going to copy that. And then where I want you to share it is on Schoology. And you're going to come in here, go to your class. Uh, for example, eBlock. Go to Materials. Discussions. Right here, so you'll open Chapter 2 Video Tutorials. And then you're going to add it. So yours is going to look different than mine, but post uh, to your discussions. So mine is dividing decimals. Okay. I am going to add my link. Paste that. Attach. Get preview. And then post. So now, it's really nice when we'll be able to see everybody's tutorials. Make sure you have your title of what it is and your link. And then people will be able to go and watch your video. So if I go to that, be able to come right back to my okay. <coughs> awesome right, sample video. About how to divide decimals. So blah, blah, blah. That's how you do it. So that's what I'm looking for. That's how you use a uh, YouTube editor. Now, if you don't want to use this, look at the other video for iMovie. Thanks.